this is unbiased reviews. I'm not from Chicago. But I'm not from I'm really love to my socks to I get the girls socks to Thank you. So nigga, stop getting no camera saying you popping your gun. Hey, big jerk. Yes, sir. That's the way you talk to your son. Jersey. <laughs> What up, man? It's your boy Chris by the Breakdown Shotgun Shug versus Bill Collector. This was, you know, this was a pretty decent battle. It could have been way better. You know, I felt like Bill Collector and Shug could have done better. But from an entertainment value, this, this battle had entertainment value as far as I was concerned. Shug comes out in round one, starts discussing his smack issues, how smack don't book him for battles. Just to keep it real, man, once you start battling a lot on UW League, you can pretty much expect not to get booked a lot by Smack. So every car that UW has, Suge is on it. So, I mean, if your loyalty is going to be over there, then obviously Smack going to eventually try to phase you out. That's just my personal opinion. I don't really have no proof of that, but I just feel like that's what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? People know Suge rock heavy with Arsenal, so obviously... You know, birds of a feather, you know what I'm saying? So he might just get caught up in that. But Shug had a good round one, man. So he talked about his issues with Smack. He choked or whatever. Normally, you choking around like he did, you automatically lose the round, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I just feel that way. However, but anytime you choke, pocket check somebody, and I ain't never seen a nigga reposition a dude's posture in a battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, Suge literally straightened Bill Collector up in this battle. Like, there's no way Bill Collector won this first round, in my opinion. The Eric being Rakim line was fire. That Drew Hill Cisco shit with talking about Sco was nice. That you nobody in PAU Eric Snow, that shit was nice. Like, Suge was on that shit in round one. He had a couple Bill flips. They weren't all that, but, you know, for the most part, they were decent. So, that was Suge first round. Bill Collector comes back. I love the way he started his battle as far as uh, his round with that. <laughs> Hitman little brother. All you ever talk about is Hitman little. Like, that shit had me dying laughing, bro. And all that shit about, I dish your girl and you ain't do shit. I holler at your bitch and you ain't do shit. Like, that shit was funny as shit. But other than that, I really didn't like Bill Collector around. I felt like it was a lot of filler. He spent too much time trying to be tough. You know, standing all up on his tippy toes, trying to get over Suge's shoulder and shit. That shit was just corny to me. Bill should just out swag Suge, and that's all he had to do to win this battle. But I felt like he his his angles and style played right into Suge's hands. So, in my opinion, Suge took round one. Suge comes back in round two. He didn't really have anything fire in round two that I can just pinpoint. But two things he did: he was back on his bill flip, his bill collector flips. But when he said the streets ain't for everyone, that's why you got your ass beat on the sidewalk. That shit was fire. When he said talking about your last battle, you the type to get hit once and get out the game. That shit was fire because a lot of people know Bill Collector. Be talking about he ain't battling no more, a little shit like that. And you got to get locked up or whatever the case may be. But you know what I'm saying? Like that shit was tight. Them two bars alone was like better than anything Bill Collector said in round two. Because when Bill Collector went in round two, uh, he had a nice start talking about how Suge ain't battled on smack. He basically been battling on poison pen and that ain't the same. Like I felt like he, he was going somewhere with it. But then he just started spitting mad filler. There like ain't nothing quotable that I even like in Bill Collector's second round. Like I just felt like... And I was actually, and I talked to Bill too because he was in a Facebook group. He was posting like his entire round trying to say like, how can y'all not say these are bars? And I basically told him it ain't really sometimes what you say is how you say it. And your typical way you swagged out on, on Tech 9 was sitting down and right and rapping in a chair. Like everything about you was just, just swagged out. And I just felt like he didn't really bring that to this battle. 
he just was on some personal, I'm a tough, tough guy you, I'm gonna try to like fight you or get all up in your face. It reminded me of the meta and sway battle. You know what I'm saying? Like meta's real lyrical, but he spent the whole battle trying to get in Sway's face. More than Swave tried to get in his face, and Swave is normally the bully, but he just took an uh, approach of, that he didn't need to take. All he needed to do was just spit bars, and that's all Bill Collector needed to do. So I gave Suge round two as well. Suge comes back in round three. He basically repeats the smack shit from earlier, which I didn't really care for. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I don't really don't know why he did it. Maybe he didn't really have much of a third, so he, or maybe he just wanted to reiterate the point to smack. You know, he apologized to Proof. I thought that shit was cool. Um, I'm going to smoke his ass because it's National Smoke Day. I thought that was decent. But his round three was just okay. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely definitely a fall off from his other two other two rounds. Bill Collector comes back in round three. His round three was just decent too. He was spitting a lot of shit that, you know, it was okay or whatever the case may be. But, you know, niggas didn't really want him to rap. Niggas was stopping him. Then he decided to keep going. And, and uh, it just seemed like he just started freestyling. Nigga said some shit like, what you think? I'm styling on you? The ring car girls smiling on you? Like, I don't even know what the nigga was saying. But it just seemed like nigga just started just talking. So this round is debatable to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you go with Bill in round three or you go with Suge. Me, personally, I think Suge won this battle 3-0. But I can't really argue if you gave him round three to Bill Collector. You can go 2-1 Bill. It's fair because Shug did really spit that smack shit again, which was kind of whack. It's either 2-1 Shug or it's 3-0 Shug. Either one is cool with me. And that's what it is, man. It's some bias review. Shout out to the Facebook group. Hit me on Twitter. Hit me on Facebook. The whole nine, man. I appreciate the support. Unbiased review. Untold Truths coming soon.